Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into a cool tech trick, setting up a VPN through an AnyDesk TCP tunnel. This can be useful if you need to bypass network restrictions. Maybe you're on a public Wi-Fi or a restrictive corporate network. This method lets you create a secure connection to a remote server. Let's get started. First, let's understand what we're doing. We're basically using AnyDesk, a remote desktop software, to create a tunnel for our VPN traffic. This tunnel encrypts your data. It makes it appear as if it's just regular AnyDesk traffic. Now, for the setup. 1. Choose a server. You'll need a server with VPN software installed. This could be a VPS, virtual private server, or a computer at home. Popular VPN software includes OpenVPN or WireGuard. 2. Install AnyDesk. Install AnyDesk on both your local computer and the remote server. Make sure you have the latest versions. 3. Configure TCP tunneling. This is the key part. On the server site AnyDesk settings, go to security and then TCP tunneling. Enable TCP tunneling. Choose a port number for the VPN traffic, for example, port 1194 if you're using OpenVPN. Also, select the option only accept connections from this AnyDesk ID and add your local computer's AnyDesk ID. This adds an extra layer of security. 4. Establish the AnyDesk connection. Connect to your server using AnyDesk. Make sure the connection is stable. 5. Configure the VPN client. On your local computer, configure your VPN client, OpenVPN or WireGuard. Instead of connecting directly to the server's IP address, you'll connect to localhost or 127.0.0.1 on the port you specified in AnyDesk TCP tunneling. For example, if you chose port 1194, your VPN client should connect to 127.0.0.1.1194. The VPN client now sends its traffic through the AnyDesk tunnel. 6. Test the connection. Once the VPN is connected, verify your IP address. Make sure it matches the IP address of your VPN server. If it does, congratulations, you've successfully set up a VPN through an AnyDesk TCP tunnel. Remember, security is crucial. Use strong passwords. Keep your software updated. This method isn't a foolproof solution. But it can be a helpful workaround in certain situations. This setup can bypass some network restrictions. It can also provide an extra layer of privacy. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Subscribe for more tech tutorials. Consider supporting the channel through donations or by becoming a member. Your support helps us create more content like this. See you in the next video.